Lexus RX footage is looping on the wall. We've got generations of RX here. We're in Plano, Texas at Lexus's headquarters. We have everything we need to give you the definitive video on the Lexus RX and its rich history, but we're not gonna do that. There's the fifth one. When I say all new, I mean it. The RX is built atop a new GA-K global platform, which is more rigid and 198 pounds lighter than the platform that preceded it. The RX has the same overall length, but the wheelbase is 2.36 inches longer, and as we all know, a longer wheelbase tends to improve stability and ride quality. The new platform also offers an increase in rear legroom and a new multi-link suspension that I suspect will improve ride quality but I'll reserve judgment until I actually drive the thing. You might also notice that the RX looks different. Perhaps the biggest stylistic change is here. The Lexus spindle grille is no longer rigidly defined by the edge. It sort of blends into the rest of the vehicle. One thing I think is really interesting is along the side here, this body line eases up here. It kind of um, arches upward, and it kind of reminds me of what you see in the Toyota Highlander. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's kind of what I see. And then of course, you got this blacked out um, pillar treatment here, which is a very Lexus RX element. To me, this all feels like the Lexus RX, but contemporized. And yes, contemporized is a word. Look it up. Inside, Lexus is focused on simplicity with a minimalist button arrangement and an updated infotainment interface. If you ever quietly cursed the old remote touch controller, it's all going to be okay, guys. This 14 inch screen comes standard and it's really easy to use. You've got sub menus on the left hand side. And I kind of like this little feature, kind of a Ford Mustang Mach E uh, element here where the screen shows through the the temperature knobs, but elsewhere, soft materials. I really like the texture over here next to the Mark Levitson speaker grate. Uh, it feels like a Lexus RX should. And as long as I'm here, I'm just gonna throw a curveball and get in the back seat and see how I fit. Uh, oh, that's odd. We push button uh, door releases. That'll take a little getting used to. Can I sit behind myself? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, got cl head clearance here, plenty of knee clearance. This is great. Once again, I'll use the electronic release to get out of the RX, the future. The new RX will also offer a range of powertrain choices. The standard engine is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder coupled to an eight speed automatic transmission and offered in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. You'll find all that in the RX 350 model. The RX 350H is, as you guessed, a hybrid offered exclusively with all-wheel drive. And atop RX Mountain is the RX 500H F Sport Performance. I'm gonna let those numbers speak for themselves. Okay, I won't. The 500H F Sport Performance uses a hybrid 2.4 liter engine and a rear electric motor to run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a Lexus estimated 5.9 seconds. Speedy. That 500H also uses a 6-speed automatic transmission for more direct acceleration feel. There's also a 450H Plus plug-in hybrid on the way. Details on that will come a little down the road. Rounding out the RX's many improvements is the inclusion of Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0 that mitigates driver incompetence with a range of features like intersection support with motorcyclist detection and curve speed management because only chumps manage curve speed for themselves. The Lexus RX has been comprehensively improved for 2023, but will that be enough for it to sustain its sales leadership? I haven't driven the new RX, but yes. The answer is yes, it will sustain its sales leadership. Look for the 2023 Lexus RX to appear in dealerships near the end of 2022. Good camera work, Mike.